Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing an upgrade of the solid state drive and the RAM of this particular Gigabyte G5 notebook. So this is a gaming laptop and this has the configuration G5KE and this was basically sold as a mid-range budget gaming laptop in 2023 and today we're going to be doing an upgrade of the solid state drive and the RAM as well. So I'm going to show you how to basically get into the internals and then make this work. Well here we're going to be installing the P2 Crucial M2 SSD and I'm also going to show you where the RAM slots are as well. So I've already done a RAM upgrade so I'm going to show you how to do the solid state drive upgrade. We're going to basically pump this up from 512 gigabytes to 2 terabytes and there are two M2 slots so I'm going to show you how to install this and uh, also how to get to the RAM slots as well. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So the first thing we're going to do is just make sure that this computer is completely turned off. So if you have this in suspend mode, then you want to basically make sure this is completely shut down before we go into the internals. So here we're just going to use a standard Phillips head screwdriver. I'm just going to get on my screwdriver kit. And then basically what I want to do is to go ahead and unscrew all of the bottom screws here. So we're going to start at the bottom here. And basically we're going to take out all of these Phillips head screws. Um, so we've got these bottom four here. So what I've noticed is that with this variant of the laptop, there isn't a separate battery compartment. The battery is under this cover. So you're gonna have to remove basically all of these screws before you can actually get to the next step. This screw here has um, a symbol for the keyboard. And uh, yeah, just take out all of these Phillips head screws. So, my, so the magnetization has gone on my Phillips hair, so I'm just going to use a different screwdriver to pull all these screws out. So now once we've got our little pile of screws ready, so what we need to do now is basically take out the bottom shell. So we're going to use a pick in order to achieve this. So we're going to use like a plastic spudger. So if you look here, there's a little gap in between where the bottom shell meets the kind of lip of the laptop. So basically you want to get your spudger and then go between this and then gently separate the two parts. So that comes apart relatively painlessly. Just make sure all the screws are definitely out and then you want to basically follow that gap around here. So obviously be very careful of the ports themselves. So that, that comes apart relatively easily. And then we've got this back port that's done. So that's very, very easy to separate the back part of this. And, uh, you know, I couldn't actually find online this particular configuration. This is a Taiwanese configuration. So this is a little bit unique. I couldn't find this on YouTube. So hopefully this is gonna help people. Okay, so what we've got here is your standard kind of configuration for a laptop. So what's unusual is that the battery is uh, in this kind of L shape, which is kind of maximizing the amount of space. So there isn't a back panel where you can take this out separately. So this is the battery internal here. So that's the location of that. So if we ever wanted to change this, then we just pop out the screws here and then uh, pop in the power cable there and then we can swap the battery here. So that's quite straightforward. I've already added a crucial RAM here. So we've gone from eight gigabytes to 16 gigabytes in storage. And then what we have here is the original 512 gigabyte M2 SSD. And basically we have a secondary slot as well. So another PCI3 slot or strict SATA slot. And what we're gonna do is basically slot in this two terabyte drive so that we have a combined 
512 and 2 terabyte drive here as well. So basically it's going to increase the storage of this laptop quite a lot. So another thing you should be aware of is that before you work on any computer, you should probably disconnect the battery first. So that's going to help with uh, any kind of potential static shock. So let's go remove this cable and then anything I do with the computer hopefully won't discharge any power. So with this particular laptop, what you're going to notice is that basically there are two different slots. So I'm just going to show you that we have um, this particular solid state drive slot. So when we're basically looking at the two solid state drive slots, we have the original solid state drive, the 512, which was listed here. So this, if you look at the text here, it says it's a PCIe 4.0 and it says a PCIe 3.0 stroke SATA slot. So I'm gonna keep the original solid state drive in the original place. And the reason is because I'm actually installing a crucial P2 and this is a gen three PCIe slot. So basically it's not gonna be able to take advantage of PCIe four. So I might as well put it into the slower secondary slot. So basically you pop this down like this. And then um, if you wanted to as well, you can install thermal pads. So we've got thermal pads at the bottom of here, but we don't have any chips in the bottom of the P2 two terabyte. So basically I'm just gonna leave that like so. And then uh, often you'll have uh, mounting screws included with your laptop. You can just put in basically any kind of uh, small Phillips head screw and then just gonna pop this down. So basically screw this back in. And then we're gonna screw the new P2 SSD here as well. So here we've got the eight gigabytes RAM sticks here. So you just pull these sides here to pull the RAM out. Just show you what we've got here. So here we've basically got eight gigabytes of 3200 megahertz sodium. You want them in an equal pairing configuration. So we've got eight gigabytes here and eight gigabytes here. That adds up to 16 gigabytes in total. You could, for example, put 16 and 16 together to make 32. However, that's a little bit of overkill for a budget laptop like this. So you just slot the RAM sticks like that and you've upgraded your RAM. And uh, the last thing is, I suppose, <clears throat> that you need to reconnect the battery. So don't forget to do this before you put the case back together. So here we're just gonna slot that back in, push it down like that. And now that battery has reconnected and well, basically all ready to go and ready to put this all back together. So my trusty little Goldie's gonna watch. And then basically we're gonna slot this down and then you wanna make sure that this is the correct way around. But the fan vent's gonna go through that part here. And then we're going to slot this in like so. And then basically we're gonna put all of the screws back together. So these are all basically the same size and length. So you don't have to worry about which one goes in where. And we'll just start from the bottom and then continue all the way to the top. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so then that's all together. We can basically flip this over and then turn this on. So flip this on here. And we're gonna turn on this computer, see how this works. So now we're basically logged into Windows 11. And if we go to start menu here and you type in disk management, and then you can get this section here called create and format hardest partitions. Here it's gonna detect that we have an unformatted drive. 
So basically what we're going to do is we can see here we have a 1863 gigabyte drive. That's the P2 that we've just installed. And then basically we're going to initialize this. So I'm going to use this uh, GPT and then press OK. And then we're basically going to format this so it's unallocated. So what you can do is basically make a new simple volume by right clicking on it and then make it basically a drive where we assign a letter like D. And then we're just going to call this one data. Press next and finish. And basically we've created a data drive. So if I go here into File Explorer and I go to this PC, we basically have the C drive, which is the original half a terabyte drive. And now we have two terabyte data drive. So now that's how you go ahead and install a new solid state drive or RAM or new battery, etc., into this particular gigabyte gaming laptop. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.